Um, reporting, uh, regarding what? You had a, you had a report for a fraud this morning. Uh, well, who is this? This is Christina with the Fulton Police Department. Fraud? Sorry, ma'am, I cannot understand you. I made, I was trying to make a report over my phone malfunctioning. I don't know what you mean by fraud. What exactly was it that had happened? On my screen, I have it up that it was a fraud report. Oh, well, um, okay. The officer asked me that when I had, um, my phone was hacked, if I had identity theft along with it, and I let him know that okay. someone did get take funds out of my bank account and off a long okay. card. Okay, so you did have funds taken out of your bank account. Right, and off a long card, which is pretty unusual for someone to electronically steal food stamps, which is pretty, you know... You would have imagined that someone would investigate that because that's highly unusual, but no one yeah, did. Yeah, food stamps as well, you said? Yes. Okay, so funds out of the bank account and food stamps. Okay. Yes. All right, how much, how much funds were taken out of the bank account? Um, $2,000. $2,000? Okay. Yes. And was this all at once or was it like numerous? It was $2,000 at, um... At what I don't remember, um, I, I think it was like at one time, um, they okay. made several different uh, withdrawals. They had my pen, so it was um, very unusual. But my bank wouldn't investigate it or the police department. Yes, yeah, understandable. No, that's right. not understandable. Because um, um, people right. they're supposed to investigate identity theft with food stamps yeah. and um, I, my bank account, but because I, I wanted to press charges on the person that did it, because I had mm -hmm. my card. How did they get my pen? Yes. But they wouldn't investigate it, nonetheless, but they did, or did give me a refund. When did this occur? That happened in 2017. In 2017? Right. Oh, well, the, I'm, uh, I don't know why he said that, or what I was reporting was technical glitches with my phone, and he asked me if with technical, the technical glitches with my phone, if I had identity theft. And I said I had had experiences with identity theft, even with uh, strange issues with my um, attorney general child support. It came up, uh, child support payments disappeared, along with food stamps, the food stamps. So we have food okay. stamps, child support, money in my account. $5,800 came up missing that was paid in child support. I, whoever I was calling each month told me that I didn't get it, but it was a blatant lie. I did get it. And when I wrote the 255th District Court telling them I didn't get a payment when I was in jail on false charges, they were caught. Because I had been writing that I didn't get any funds, and then after that, they put the funds on the card. But whoever I was calling each month told me I didn't get funds. And I've been reporting it for years, and no one will take the report. Okay, so it was, you know, let me make sure I have this. So you had the funds taken out of the bank account, $2,000 and child support money had gone missing as well. And right. Had issues with identity theft. Right. And then there's also the something okay. strange happened with Social Security payments. I had some of them missing. And when I went in there to try to figure it out, the security removed me. Okay. Let me get some info like, with your bank info. What bank do you use? It was Viewpoint Bank. And Viewpoint okay. Bank, October 2019, when the food stamps came up missing, would not give me funds in my bank account. Sorry, what was the name of the bank again? Viewpoint Bank, now Legacy Texas. I believe they're Legacy Texas now. Legacy Texas. Right. And around the same time I had the food stamp stolen, Legacy Texas wouldn't give me money in my account with a valid credit, uh, valid ID and social security card. I had been okay. banking at that bank 15 years. Okay. All right, the card that, or like, what do you have a, what, what is the card number for that would have been used? I don't know. Do you have like the last four, four digits? No, I do not. But I spoke with a representative from Viewpoint Bank, mm -hmm. and he was able to access that information. And he had something different. He had that my purse was stolen, which is very uh, different from what reality was. Reality mm -hmm. was that I had my card on me. Someone yeah. duplicated my card and had my pen, and um, the person who did it uh, admitted to doing it that uh on a fake page on um facebook okay 
So, so I'm just writing down all of this. <laughs> okay. I reported it to Atasca Police, the different Facebook uh, face pages on Facebook that they wouldn't investigate. I reported it, um, the last report was eight, uh, um, April 28, 2020, I'm sorry, 2018. And uh, when I made the last report, they lied on me and said I assaulted them and evaded arrest to sabotage okay. the report. All right. So, this $2,000 that's just gone missing, this wasn't something that happened recently. This is something that happened in 2017. Right. I'm correct? building up... Uh, he asked me with the hacked phone had I had any um, problems with identity theft, and I did. I, I explained him um, the issues with identity theft. I also had issues with the stimulus check, multiple different avenues. I tried to um, get the stimulus check on my phone, different turbo tags, different sites, multiple different sites. I tried to get the stimulus check, and there were errors. I still have, I've never got a stimulus check. And I went okay. to uh, a couple locations and had a couple of um, problems at locations in person. Okay. So I haven't really been, but um, there's glitches all over the place. Okay, let me get some information. Okay, and I'm you. sorry, what was your name? Yeah, like, oh, my name is Christina. Okay, and your position? I am in the civilian response. Okay. Yes, yeah, let me, let me get some information for you so I can put this in my report. So can you confirm the spelling of your name? Yes. Okay, so you need my social security number? Yeah, we can go with the social if you don't have your driver's license. Oh, um, yes, I do know who did I, I have an idea who did it. Because okay, when I perfect. ended an online relationship right, with name? this party, his name is Jason Gardner. Jason Gardner? Right. J-A-S-O-N? Yes. G A R G A R D E N D E N E R E R. All right. All right. Do you know his race? Is he black, white, Asian? Black. Black. Okay. Do you know his date of birth or his age? Um, five nine. Okay, so there is multiple different cyberbullying sites online, and I get a lot of comments and people um, that are claiming to know him are reaching out to locations and telling people to not give me services or help me. And a lot of these places are not giving me help. For example, um, um, this one site, it's called It Me. They're reposting my videos. And I thought, I'm not quite sure, but that may be considered as a cyber crime. They're reposting my videos, making money off my videos, using my name, Kiana Clark Peace. The same lady um, posted a video of me at his business. Okay. With him at, him at his business as well. So a lot of these people that are making comments, slandering me on in my comments, and saying all kind of different things, they say that they know him. And I got all kind of harassing calls and threats from people that claim to know him. But police wouldn't investigate in the past. So there's multiple different cyberbullying sites that are uh, posting mug shots and uh, harassing, um, cyber cyberbullying me and doing all kinds of other things as well that has not been investigated. And like I said, these people have called my job, had me terminated because they were calling my job and telling them that I was posting different things. Um, and they police claim that these people are, are the reasoning behind why a lot of places weren't giving me services, which I don't believe because the police department was behind why I wasn't getting services in the past. For for example, organizations would call me and say that you know someone instructed them not to give me services, or that um, someone said that I had uploaded something and they weren't going to help me. Well, the only time I upload videos is when they were sabotaging help in the first place. It was so many organizations that did that, that I started uploading videos to sh expose how the services were sabotaged for me. But I thought that that could be potentially um, a cyber crime, uploading my vi YouTube videos, making money off my own videos with my name. Yeah. 
and there's multiple people that are cyberbullying me that has went uh -huh. unaddressed. And like I said, this lady must know him because how did she get a video of me at his job as well as yeah. of him? And then this same lady, the, uh, and there was evidence of stalking. Uh, uh, police wouldn't take the report. There, uh, on the, she uploaded a video of me at CPS picketing. So she, someone stalked me at CPS, and uploaded a video of me at CPS. Do you know the name of this lady? It's the site is called It Me. But I have a lot of uh, cyberbullying on my uh, co in my comments and a lot of slander, and I know that's a, f a way of communication and harassment that he's used. He hides behind fake pages and people, other people, to harass and torment. That's how I met him. He, I didn't understand why he wanted to communicate that way, but that's how he wanted to communicate under fake pages. I'm sorry. Wanna, so, like the real, you're you're really want with, with all of this. You're really wanting to. You want to, You're wanting the fraud to be investigated, correct? Okay, so we have to protect him. I know. I'm trying to figure out exactly how, because you just mentioned a lot that has happened, and so I'm trying to figure out exactly what. There's a lot going on. Right. When I put in a fraud, I will put in his. I thought so that, that possibly we can address all crimes. Okay. As a suspect, sorry, he will be the suspect on the on on the report if I put it in as the fraud. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. I've just been through a lot. Uh, I've fallen through the cracks years. Um, I understand, ma'am. Um, I just the I guess the best thing I I haven't had any resolution for the fraud. I I guess the main objective, um, it, it, all of it. I guess the uh, I, my main objective was that I haven't been able to properly use my phone. And the, the cyber crimes, um, the fraud, that was so long ago, I don't know if it would be evidence with for that. But okay. if you could do anything regarding that, you know, and why I've fallen through the cracks with all, um, food stamps and why they never get, get um, they retracted on the theft and then they said that I didn't spend it off my card, which was a blatant lie because it was never on my card. There was supposed to be almost a thousand dollars, and the most that was on my card was two dollars. Okay, yeah. And she wouldn't give me proof. And I don't know, and the Social Security Administration wouldn't give me proof of payments either. Okay. So I tried to report to Attorney General the that someone she has too much power to abuse if they can put paid child support payments on hold and hide them and who was I talking to that told me that I didn't get them 58 uh, see the reason why that was so um I was going to move out this toxic community with that $5,800 that I did not um that claimed that I didn't get but I did get it this this community where I was uh, police was con control it's a long story but there was yeah. a lot of control in this community and um, my, I believe that my stalker was had a lot of people um, gang stalking me. Uh, it's a long story. So he did not want me to okay. move out that community. So, but how in the world could he keep me from getting my child support payments? Okay, and so you know, like it is this guy because I can put all of this in for him. I'm just giving you the evidence, and I'll let the police do a proper investigation. I think all okay. of this at one. I mean, my bank not giving me funds in October. The, in my account, going to multiple different banks with an ID and a social security card, a valid ID. Uh -huh. That banks that I banked at 15 years, a theft on food stamps. It doesn't make sense. How do you steal food stamps? Yeah. And then after the theft, they um, the glitches kept me from food stamps from reapplying. And there's glitches now. Uh, I got a letter the other day stating that they're processing. They told me at 211 that they sent me a letter saying that I had to fill out some kind of form and return it back to them. I didn't get the form. But there are all kind of glitches and catch-22s to keep me from food stamps. 
or any, any kind of assistance altogether. So I've went to multiple different domestic violence organizations. I'm blacklisted from all of them. They won't give me help, um, my rights, advocacy, support, period. But yeah, so the I think that he's behind. I think that I'm being railroaded. But the It Me site, yeah, I think that those are actually charges, what's going on on that site that have been unaddressed. And these people yeah, that are threatening me and cyberbullying me, these are charges. You just can't call my job and do all this madness that they've been doing and continually it's unaddressed. All right, so with everything I have, I'll make sure to, so let me give you a report number. Okay. So I will go ahead, yeah, I'll leave you with the report number and then I'll also give you the number for the non-emergency number. If there's anything that you would like to supplement to this report I'm doing, okay. you'll call this number and then give them the, this report number. The report, do you have something to write this down with? Yes. The report number will be 2300-92688. That's 2300-92688. Yes. Okay, so they're not going to get put this to the CIT team, are they? Crisis intervention team. Uh, no, they shouldn't. It should, so it'll, it'll go to a detective. Okay, because that's the what they... will look through everything, and okay. then they'll go from there. Okay, because that's what they've been doing to tamper with evidence. Because all they have one would have to do is an investigation, and they'll see that these statements that I'm making are true. All one well, would have. I'll give you the non-emergency number as well, so you can call that if you need anything to supplement. Okay. So the non-emergency number will be eight one seven three nine two forty two twenty two. Let me give you my YouTube channel. Yes, yes, that'll be helpful for me to add into here. Okay.